Just making a quick video talking about how to identify whether or not you have a broken spring or the cause of a suspension problem. I'm using this Volkswagen for an example, CC. Um, if you look at your car and you notice the ride height is slightly lower on one corner, that's a pretty good indication in itself that you have a broken coil spring. But um, sometimes what's more, more noticeable than even the, uh, the ride height is the, the camber, how much the top of the tire is tilted in compared to the body. So if you look at the body line, and then you look at how far the tire is from the body line, that um, that's pretty much how much negative camber you have, how much is tilted inwards. So when you look at this one, you see it's tilted inwards quite a bit. The tire is tucked in quite a, quite a lot from the, from the fender opening. And then on this side, you'll see that it's almost, it's, it's actually, when you look at it flush, it's almost exactly level with it right here. The ride height is slightly higher on this side too. I mean, you can go around and measure and a lot of times you'll see a pretty good difference. But if you're just casually looking at your car and you notice that the tire does seem like it's tucked in lower, they're more on the, on the top on one corner than it is on the other ones, then there's, uh, there's a likely chance that you have a broken coil spring. I'm gonna lift it up and show you why it acts that way when the car Here's drops. From underneath, you can see the coil up top is broken, which is a little unusual. Usually they break at the bottom. But um, yeah, sometimes it'll break in the top, sometimes it breaks in the center, you never know. Either way, what, the, what happens here and why it tucks in like that is the length of this lower control arm, you see how it's very long, it almost connects at the center of this rear subframe. Well, the top control arm is much shorter. So when this moves upwards, this arm is less affected as far as um, the, the length goes than the smaller arm. The smaller arm, when it starts to move in upwards, you know, further when the car is lower, it shifts inwards more. So this point to this point, which would be like your kingpin, it starts to pull in on the top because the arm is shorter. So it pulls in on the top and this bottom is less affected because it's very long, this lower arm. So this stays fixed and doesn't move as much. And then it pulls in the top. So all suspension designs are a little bit different, but um, usually for the most part, most cars behave like this. When they go lower, they start to get more negative camber. That's why when you start putting lowering springs on cars, unless you do a lot of other modifications, a lot of times it wears out the inner tread on the tire versus the outer because you start getting too much negative camber and sometimes factory suspension can't compensate for it. So thanks for watching.